When you search LED strip on Amazon, you'll be faced with over 3000 results. How do you know which product to spend your money on? In today's video we'll be comparing some of the most popular LEDs on Amazon, to help you make that decision. To keep things simple, we'll be focusing mainly on quality over features. Most of the LED kits on Amazon share the same basic functionalities. The ones you need will be unique to your specific scenario, but quality applies to every application. We'll be comparing Keep Smile, Daybetter and GoV, along with our own Hibiscus RGBW strip for interest. Each kit generally includes a power supply, a remote, and a controller, besides the LED strip. Our first impression of the Keep Smile kit, is that its components are obviously low quality. Also the LED strip has a really long cutting pitch, and a low LED density. All bad signs so far. Let's open up the Daybetter kit next. The components in this kit are noticeably higher quality than Keep Smiles, but the remote does have fewer control options. Another improvement is that the cutting pitch is significantly smaller, and the LED density is higher. Okay, time for the GoV box. You can immediately tell that the GoV kit is of superior quality to the other two. Also, rather than using a remote, there is a wired in switch. For further control you can download the GoV app. Looking at the strip, we can see the highest LED density, with the shortest cutting pitch, we've seen so far. Let's take a quick look at the Hibiscus strip, and some other high quality products, we've used to make a small kit. This strip is significantly more expensive than the others, but you'll notice that the LED density is a lot higher. Taking a look at all four strips side by side, we can see that the Keep Smile and Day Better strips actually have a similar LED density. If you compare the Govi strip with the Hibiscus, you can see that the latter has approximately twice as many LEDs, although their cutting pitch is identical. Now for the big reveal. Let's use a spectrometer to measure the light output of each strip. Remember to keep an eye on the Lux value to compare brightness. Use the graph to get an idea of the CRI. The Keep Smile strip is high in blue light. Next up, the Day Better strip. Okay, so the Day Better and Keep Smile strips have almost identical light output, although both are fairly dim. Let's test the Govi strip now. Nice, that's quite a bit brighter than the others. Now let's find out, just how much brighter, the high quality strip is. Wow, that's about 13 times brighter than the Govi strip, and 25 times brighter than the other two. For fun let's take a look at how these strips look inside a Smokey 65, which is one of our LED tube profiles. Unfortunately, only GoV discloses the lumen wattage of their strip, which comes in at 29 lumens per a watt. Our hibiscus shines at 48, making it two-thirds more efficient. The last factor to consider when comparing the strips, is their lifespan. The lower quality strips we looked at, can generally be expected to last for 15 to 20,000 hours. Whereas higher quality ones, like the hibiscus, can be expected to last for at least 50,000. Another common issue with LED kits is that the cheaper components, like the remotes or controllers, can fail early, rendering their LED strip unusable. To wrap up, the LED strips you find on Amazon are lots of fun. And they're an inexpensive way to add some excitement to your house. But, for any more serious, or practical LED needs, we recommend investing in a higher quality strip, as the benefits outweigh the cost difference. Thanks for watching.
We hope that you found this video helpful, and we look forward to creating more like it in the future.